Six dogs need to find a new home before construction starts on a new animal shelter in Daphne. And as WKRG News 5 Blake Brown explains, space is already limited and now the city is hoping a rescue organization or maybe someone interested in adopting the animals will help step up. Yeah, construction on the new shelter is expected to start within the next two months. Yeah, what are you looking at? Oh, yeah. This is Robin. She was hit by a car in Daphne several months ago and brought to the city's animal shelter. She's doing much better after surgery, but she still needs to find a good home. We're going to demolish the old building, so we need a place to find uh, for our animals. Shelter is a loose word for what we currently have. It's more of a pound. She's not alone. Currently, six dogs need a home before construction on the new $4 million animal shelter begins. Daphne Mayor Robin Lejeune says the city will receive help from the Baldwin County Animal Shelter and neighboring facilities if needed during the upcoming project. We want people to come and, and take these animals in because they're so sweet and they just want to be loved. And so we want uh, them to be taken care of before all the craziness and we start scrambling on trying to force them on, uh, say, the county and other uh, facilities. A small portable building will be used to hold short-term strays during construction, but Lejeune says they'll only be able to accommodate four animals at a time. And that's mainly for uh, dogs that the owners, uh, you know, have owners and they've gotten out and, and our animal control's got them. By this time next year, the Daphne Animal Shelter will have space for 22 dogs, 22 cats, and medical rooms with indoor and outdoor features throughout. The current shelter is approximately 900 square feet. The new shelter will be 9,000 square feet feet heated and cooled with soundproof technology. If you can help by adopting or fostering a dog, you're urged to call the animal shelter as soon as possible. In Daphne, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.